suppose there's a, a number of factors um, really driving that um, driving that thought process. The, the mobile app that we have out has been called Engage for um, yeah, since its launch, which is now about 12, 18 months. Um, but one of the key challenges that we would see from most of our customers is around engagement. It's a, a conversation that we would have um, where you know, looking to try and get information from um, from their uh, frontline workers, trying to provide information back to the frontline workers, is one of the key challenges that they face. Um, and really, what the, the problem that we're trying to sort with that is that level of engagement. We're trying to provide a solution to, to really drive that engagement for them and to, to drive the engagement in safety to get more better information from the frontline. And that was one of the key sort of challenges that we were trying to address, uh, I suppose, as we looked about our future roadmap in the business. So one of the things that we wanted to do is make that very evident in the name of the business um, and, and really drive that. We hope it will give them an understanding, I suppose, of what drives us and hopefully that will be relevant for them. Um, so, you know, we, we always talk about what's our reason for being here as a business, what's our why and what's the customer's why, why are they here and what are they, you know, the problems they're trying to solve and the objectives that they're trying to reach as a business. Um, and hopefully it'll give some relevance to that. So, I mean, it's a name, or you could say it's only a name, but really we're trying to solve that problem. We're trying to help solve that problem for EHS professionals. We're try trying to help drive that engagement level um, and give them the tools to do that. So. You can't underestimate the importance of engagement without fully engaged employees in a safety um, both the culture, the processes, the systems that you have. You don't have real information, you don't have full visibility to what's going on, you don't have people working on your behalf as a safety professional. So I think what we've often seen you know, is great systems designed on paper or great systems and software, but then ring-fenced and held in by a number of people for, for lots of different reasons. It's hard to distribute responsibility, it's hard to get other people involved sometimes. Um, so we would, we would always say software is not the solution to that, it's not the only solution to that. That's about culture, it's about the EHS professionals, but software has a really strong part to play in providing the tools to allow people to do that in a way that is accessible, affordable and, and achievable. Every single person in, in the company has a, a mobile in their pocket um, or is you know, close to a device or close to something that they can use. So really capitalising on that and using that now is, is something that we have to do in safety. We're, we're behind other business functions in that respect, um, you know, where you see like an 85% impact in, in, in HR. I think um, HR systems, people using mobile, we're at something like 5% in EHS. So really capitalising on that and using that technology to get more information from the front line is critical. That was put at the front of the stand really to, to bring a little bit of lightheartedness and fun to people walking by and get them engaged. You know, um, the conversations that we wanted to have with them are, were around engagement. How do you engage your employees? How do you think you can do it better? How can we help with that as a software provider? I won't give away any secrets for this year's stand, but um, really it was that mentality of just trying to bring a little bit of engagement to the front of the stand. How do we get people to stop, think, look, talk to us um, and do it in a fun way? You know? So hopefully we'll have something similar this year.